gotta get very picky about when and where you attack them. That's what it is. Come on. Then he pulls out his sword. Not dead yet, motherfucker. Oh gosh. What the hell? What the fuck? Magic's unavailable. What the fuck? What the shit? I don't do any damage to him. Is there... Can I retrieve my... I can't. It's too... It's out of the arena, isn't it? Holy shit. Same way. 
save. Shit. Site and then it's fading like a dream. That's kind of a long yeah. story, baby. Let's find a road, hitch a ride, and I'll fill you in on all the details. Oh shit! Wait a minute. Is that tap? <laughs> Ah oh, shit! Shit! We went back too far. skip the credits no let's yeah let's have the credits okay yeah we'll have the credits um yeah wow this freaking game well and that ending too man turn back time and he goes all the way the fuck back <sighs> oh shit oh gosh he goes all the way back to uh the mines time oh there we go <laughs> how does this move even oh <laughs> Alright, alright, I'm not even gonna bother. Um, 
Yeah, shit. This game, uh, exciting weapons, good weapons, good weapons. Um, like the scythe was really nice early on, but then of course you had to, you got the option to go into other weapons later on, and that was kind of pretty cool. Uh, it definitely helped out the whip, probably the least exciting of the weapons, because uh, it was kind of, mm, it was kind of whatever. Um, it, it it helped when you got it definitely for the long range things when you got it, but it felt like it was too weak. Uh, the hammer felt like it was too strong for certain enemies. Uh, or, well, not that it was too strong, but that other weapons were too weak to take out those enemies, so you needed to use the hammer. Um, and the ha the the claws were obviously my favorite, because I used those throughout the majority of the game. Um, how does this... But, like... Okay, the game. Let's see. Great. I thought I thought the music was good. I mean, nothing's gonna stick in my head from the music, but there wasn't anything that I thought like was like a bad piece of music or anything. So eh, I'm I'm okay with that. Um, the story was cheesy, kind of, but it was expected to be. Like, I didn't go into this game expecting a super serious, you know, game, and I actually got a little bit of a super serious game. I mean, not, not super serious, but it it definitely had some serious, you know, tones to it at some times, uh, especially with Ava. She, uh, fully willing to give herself to save Marlo, and, well, I know that she didn't think it through in that you know, she might save Marlo at the time, but the world, I guess, from this sorcerer wouldn't, uh, wouldn't do very well, so, yeah. But she was a very good character for that. Her note, her notebook really, uh, brought her character out, uh, and that's good for a character that wasn't throughout most of the game. Um, I mean, that she wasn't present throughout most of the game. Uh, Kim was a pretty cool character as well. Like, at first, you know, she started off obviously being terrible. You know, being the bitch who kills you. But then she helps you out, and then she gets caught. And, I mean, I guess she died before the end. But uh, with the time warp back, who the hell knows what the actual uh, timeline is like in the end there. Um because they're all the way back now in time, so, I mean, I'm... I would actually hope for Marlo Briggs 2 with that kind of an ending, but I don't think they're probably going to get it. That'd be great if they do, if they do it. Um, let's see. Mm. Gameplay-wise, it was really, really fun. Um, there was action throughout the entire game, I mean. And, I mean, I played it on normal setting. Um, because, uh, like, I would think hard setting, I would just feel like I was, atta like, I, I would feel like I was fighting the same fight too long on a harder difficulty. I thought on normal, the fights were a good length of time, uh, at least for somebody like me who's not going to you know, remember all the biggest damage combos and everything like that, and get, you know, the big, uh, giant, the, I don't have a huge ability to, you know, get all the, um, combos and everything like that, so, it, for me, that was good, um, let's see, and yeah, it was just fun, I liked, I actually liked the fact that it would go into different sort of game modes every once in a while. Like, the shoot 'em up uh, levels, those were pretty fun. Because it was nice, it was a nice change of pace, even though it kept the pace consistent with the action. It wasn't a tear you out of it. Even the turret sequences were not too long, and turret sequences can be a pain in the ass, but um, since it's not actually a first-person shooter or a shooter, like, I thought that the turrets were reasonable. Like, because typically it would be... It, when I would have a trouble 
a problem with them using turrets too much would be um, a, a shooter because you're already shooting all the time and now you got to use turrets you know it's kind of a pain uh, trying to figure out what do we do here okay. um, let's see if there's anything else that comes to mind I think I love the theme like I said before I just absolutely love the theme um, Mayan gods and everything like that. Wow. Terrible. Uh, the whole Mayan, uh, sort of... I think it was supposed to be Mayan, at least. Crap, that's kind of hard to get. Whoa. Okay. This is... Okay. This is funky here. said, whatever, you know, that looks pretty generic or something like that, you know. Ooh. Why the hell? Oh, let's go back down. Right. Oh, shit. Damn. Um. you got what you expected, and, uh, let's see, I probably talked too much here, this is already probably, you know, either a super long episode, I've talked like enough for it to be its own episode, let's see if I can get out of here, ah, come on, go, oh, these credits are really long, longer than I thought, I guess, or, I guess maybe, at the top here. Oh gosh. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> oh man, so shitty. Um, yeah, like I said, I mean, I've, uh, I enjoyed it. I'm not gonna give it a score like I did with Zelda, but, uh, or 
crawling. Well, like I did with Ocarina of Time. I might not even give other Zelda scores, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. And I enjoyed it for my second playthrough on uh, my channel. Thanks for joining me. Let's, uh, the rest of this will just be me trying to finish this up. So, trying to figure out what's at the top here. So you can skip to the end if you want to see what's at the top. Achievement. There you go. Did we miss any achievements? <laughs> I don't know if this is actually capturing it. Uh, what did we miss? Complete the game on hardcore. Glide for more than six seconds. Skip all cutscenes. Find all collectibles. Well, I wasn't gonna do any of that. So, thank you for joining me. Uh, Marlo Briggs and the Mask of Death. I hope you enjoyed. I'm, uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>